Hey everyone, Jeff Teagan Rally here. We're by the side of the road because we've got a new Tundra SR5 and we're pulling an Airstream. That's right, Toyota Tundra has new towing capabilities. It allows your vehicle to detect that you are hooked up to a trailer. This SR5 also has the power extending side mirrors, the tow mirrors. So that's something to look out for. We're gonna do most of this in vehicle, okay? We're good hooked up here, We've got the hook up, and as soon as it hooks in here, it detects right in the multi information display. Let's test our mirrors. See the light there? Look at this new 14 inch touch screen here. Let's put it into reverse. Look at this, we've got our trailering camera. We could do the bed. So let's pull out here and then we're just gonna pull out left. And let's see, boy, I'll tell you, it is so smooth. I don't feel much resistance at all. I don't feel the weight of the trailer behind me. Let's see when we turn left. This is with the twin turbo V6 engine. It has 389 horsepower. 479 foot-pounds of torque. Boy, I'll tell you what. You can barely feel that you've got a trailer back there. Well, now I feel it. <laughs> this is with the new rear coil spring suspension, multi-link rear suspension, replacing the leaf springs from the previous generation. So my impressions of this one, traditionally a single axle trailer tends to get a little loose and they're hard to control because they aren't quite as stable as a double axle. And for me, I felt well in control, both accelerating, slowing down, going up hills, going around turns, this is a good test. Here's the platinum version blueprint. And here's what we are pulling. Our hookup. I feel like I just want to keep showing off more of the truck. So before you leave, I just want to show you a couple of things in here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the gain. Okay. What that's for is how hard or firm the electric brakes hit in the back. Okay. 10 years ago, you had an aftermarket unit. And what it's for is if you're driving and a big crosswind starts the trailer to move, mm -hmm. you could squeeze that, not apply brakes to the truck, but only to the trailer. Okay. Now this particular one, this is our Platinum. We have a giant Airstream, but we have the Platinum. This particular one has the air suspension. So this should be a very smooth ride. That's what I was told. So we're gonna see. All right, here we go. Let's see how it turns. <laughs> you know, I gotta be honest, I've never towed anything before. So for me, this is a whole new giant experience. 
going to wave to these guys. We're also going to honk at them because they're taking my picture. Holla! It's funny, you can definitely feel the resistance of the trailer but it's so smooth and I feel totally in control that I got this. I got this, yo. Going up a hill, it did just fine. And the cool thing, remember, when this has blind spot monitor, it has BSM for not only the truck, but also extending all the way back to the trailer. So that's a huge bonus for safety. Take a left here. And here we've got our camper so that it automatically sets the gain based on what it needs. You can also select a trailer. You can edit a trailer, the camper. You can set it for the type that you have. The length automatically is set because the truck figures it out using the cameras that are underneath there to figure out the length automatically. Whoa. So overall, this was very smooth. Even though the trailer is extremely large compared to the first one, I felt completely in control of this one. Again, braking, going around big turns, slowing down, going fast, not going fast. I did not go fast, but speeding up, we should say. So yeah, this was really impressive. I learned a lot, and I think this will really help you with your towing. I suggest that you give it a try. See you next time.